Okay. Basically, we're looking at here is the opportunity to view content spatially organized uh, in an infinite canvas paradigm where I can zoom into and interact and move through content in an organic fashion. Um, one of the big components is that the content is actually the content, it's not an icon or, or other representation of the content, but um, if I have, a, uh, in this case, uh, a stack of photographs, um, I'm pointing to a folder of photographs and drawing those into the surface and then I'm able to just move through those content types um, using gesture. And then if I zoom back out, those content types are still there uh, so that I can uh, not have to open new modules and, and uh, do that. One of the other things we have with the infinite zoom, of course, is thinking about content types that wouldn't represent themselves well in a sort of PowerPoint-like presentation format today where a complex diagram would be hard to view. People would have, you'd have to print it out. Folks would have a hard time seeing that. But if we're uh, working in this environment, we can think about XML-based content, uh, raster-based uh, content that allows us to sort of move infinitely into, into, into details and be um, able to, to discuss those. Uh, we can also embed content types like video, um, so we can uh, sort of seamlessly be able to move into video content types and, of course, move, move out of those, those content types as well. Um, we think about the access to things like uh, Word documents, um, where instead of copy-pasting different elements from a Word document into a presentation, I can instead um, uh, hmm. pull the whole document in and be able to sift through pages. And How about editing things. the document? Well, that's one of the things that we'd like to think about in the future, is what would it be like if I could then edit in line or, or be able to interact with documents in that way. We haven't implemented that yet at this point. What else do we have to see? Those are the big things. Some of the other things that we looked at is in a uh, format like this, of course, a lot of people say, well, what? that looks a lot like a whiteboard, so um, one of the things we wanted to play with. Calibration's a little off. There we go. Um, what about using it as a, um, as a whiteboard, using your finger, being able to select uh, colors? drawing tools. You can also see that with the camera that we could also have a uh, pen. We could use the camera for object recognition and be able to, mm -hmm. to, to actually have a tray and pick up a whiteboard pen. And if I have a red pen, the camera can identify as that as a red pen and be able to do that, that same kind of thing with, with a pen as well. Now we'll just go back to presentation. So then those annotations, of course, can stay with with the content as well. I think at a high level, and it's, uh, that's it. Great. Can we play Halo on this now? Of course, of course. <laughs> what is that with the uh, the logos? Oh, that was. It's just a, an example of. Um, this is actually some uh, uh, just an example of different content types, but these are these are companies that we've worked with. The, the, the content here that we've focused on right here at this point is, 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 is a presentation that's about Office Labs, all the different things we do. And in this space, we're talking about the envisioning team and the way that we work um, um, through our process. And uh, the logos are just uh, um, companies that we've engaged with to brainstorm and think about future and understand their, their business space in particular and, and uh, those that we've collaborated with. Can you, um can, will you just briefly talk about you know how the touchscreen works? I know we talked about it before, but just on video, sort of the infrared, and just at a high level. Sure, um, I think it's pretty simple. But um, and Russ can or Ken rather can correct me uh, if I um, make any mistakes. But um, basically, what we have is is um, a surface that we're projecting onto. It's just a plexiglass surface. Um, it could be a piece of cardboard. I could be projecting from the front. In this case, I won't get a shadow if I project from the rear. Um, there's three lasers across the bottom 
of, uh, of the surface that sit just off the surface. Each of these lasers has a, um, uh, uh, a filter over the top that scatters the, uh, uh, the beam out, creating a mesh, an invisible infrared mesh just off the surface of the screen. And then on the other side, mounted behind the projector, we have an infrared camera that picks up the, uh, the light. When my finger breaks the plane of that surface, it creates a, um, a pinpoint that the camera is able to pick up and trigger as a click. Great. I think that's it, huh? Yeah. All right.